The Angier? The Haybike Commuter or Race? Perhaps the Schwinn or Ad Motor? Which one should you buy? In this video, we will be looking at the top 5 commuter bikes available on the market today and will tell you which one is best for you. We made this list based on our own opinion, research, and customer reviews. We have considered their quality, features, and values when narrowing down the best choices possible. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description box below. So, here are the top 5 best commuter bikes. The fifth product on this list is the Schwinn Network. If you have been wanting a commuter bike that is easy to assemble right out of the box, then the Schwinn Network might be the thing for you. This is a more user-friendly bike with an easier assembly than most commuter bikes. It seems like comfort is something this bike strives for. You will particularly like that the seat suspension is not only soft, but works to give you an extra cushion from bumps or potholes. We all know how sore our butts and backs can get when riding bikes, and this helps tremendously. Furthermore, the ergonomic handles feel good to hold for long periods as well. They have a good grip and reduce slipping if you are sweating or riding in the rain. Additionally, it has a strong but lightweight aluminum frame, reducing the amount of energy spent going to and from your desired location. And like we said before, the Schwinn Network strives to give you the best comfort possible. And lastly, the wheel size is 28.3 inches, making the bike tall enough for all adults. Its pros are, it has an extremely comfortable seat that reduces soreness, it provides excellent grip even when sweating or in rainy weather, and it is lightweight for an easier time riding long distances. However, the brakes are not set correctly, so they need some adjustment on arrival before you set out on the road to work. Whether or not you use the Schwinn Network to exercise or simply to get to point A to point B, this bike offers comfort and reliability. Up next in fourth place is the Anchier Electric Commuter. This next bike is a little guy that is foldable as well as electric. It's an e-bike with three different settings to choose from, pure electric mode, boost mode, and manpower mode. The pure electric mode doesn't need much explanation, as it does all the work for you by simply turning the throttle on the handle. However, the boost mode is a mix of electric and manpower modes. It gives you a slight advantage when pedaling and gives you that extra kick when moving. Finally, the manpower mode is when you want to use your legs like on a standard bike. You will particularly like the powerful motor which can get you up to top speeds of 20 miles per hour. Its 500 watt motor is smooth and great for cruising around town. Furthermore, the battery is a 48 volt, 7.5 ampere hour lithium ion battery. Each fully charged trip will last roughly 18 miles before needing to be recharged. This is excellent as it makes commuting much easier and is a perfect form of transport even for everyday use. Its pros are, it has a convenient option to choose between three different modes, it has a decent battery that makes short trips a breeze, and it is excellent for shorter or young adults due to its height. However, you cannot charge the battery for over six hours, which means you can't leave it overnight. The Anchier Electric Commuter does what its name says. It makes commuting much easier and does so with an added bit of fun to it. Still haven't found a commuter bike that meets your needs? Well, keep watching because we have more lined up for you. Meanwhile, if this is your first time visiting our channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of our next videos. The third product on this list is the Haybike Race Electric. What you will notice first about this next e-bike is the convenient LCD display that tracks your speed. Additionally, this is where you can change modes between bike mode, pedal assist mode, and throttle mode. The 350 watt motor can reach speeds up to 20 miles per hour, and it has a 7-speed Shimano gear system. All these features give you excellent control over your riding habits and make biking much easier. Furthermore, the wheel size is 26 inches, which is a sweet spot for short and tall people. Moreover, you will appreciate the removable 36 volt, 10 ampere hour lithium ion battery. It is a large battery and the fact that you can replace it is very convenient, especially if you want to have two batteries at once. This will give you the option to always have one battery charging while you use the other. Lastly, it should be pointed out that even though e-bikes are not known for great suspension, the Haybike Race Electric does have quality suspension. This will not only give you the option to go off-road a bit, but it will also make riding much more comfortable. Its pros are, it has an excellent LCD display to track your speed and biking modes, it has a removable battery which makes replacing or changing much easier, and it has decent suspension for off-road trails even though it is designed for roads. However, occasionally the battery will come set to the wrong voltage, 
and needs to be changed in the settings for the display to work correctly. The Haybike Race Electric is a classic e-bike for those who love to cruise around town. The second product on this list is the Haybike Electric Commuter. This next pick is a bit of an old school design. It's brown handles and a seat that may remind you of your childhood, whereas the sleek black coating has a more modern feel. What gives it the old school vibe is the frame itself. This unit has a high capacity framework on the back to store extra items. It is ideal for those that have equipment or bags to take with them to work and is a much appreciated feature. Furthermore, the large lithium ion battery is seated perfectly in between the main seat and the back rack. This not only provides protection for the battery, but it also gives the Haybike electric commuter a more ergonomic feel. Plus, it can hold a total weight capacity of 264 pounds. Additionally, it has a USB port to charge your devices with. This feature is most useful for people who listen to podcasts or music while cruising down the roads. Regardless of how you decide to use it, the battery is in an excellent position and provides a charging option which is another cool feature we specifically liked. And finally, with the adjustable seat and 26-inch wheels, this bike is ideal for people around 5'5 to 6'5 feet tall. Its pros are, it has a cool old-school vibe as well as a strong frame, its battery has a USB port for added features that are useful on the go, and it has an excellent storage rack. However, the battery does not last as long as our other entries on this list, with only 25 miles of range. The Haybike Electric Commuter is a good option for those who need to deal with hills on the way to work and don't want to arrive sweating through their shirt. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out the description below for the newest deals in each of these items. And be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the best products on the market. Finally, the top commuter bike is the AdMotor Moten M60. This last one runs like a dream. It's smooth, fast, and has a decent battery life even at full speeds. This is thanks to the 750 watt motor which allows you to go up to 23 miles per hour. It utilizes a 48 volt, 17.5 ampere hour portable battery that will last you up to 5 hours or roughly 28 to 55 miles depending on which setting you use. The full electric mode will give you an estimated 28 miles of battery life. Like the Haybike Race Electric, this bike comes with a 5 inch LCD display which offers many features, such as a front light, USB charging, and battery levels, and will keep track of how fast you are going. This can be extremely useful, especially when planning out the perfect biking routes. Even better, the front light will also give you the option for nighttime cruises. Lastly, the sturdiness and size of the frame as it offers a solid in-between option for tall and short people. With the wheel size of 20 inches, the Moton M60 offers one of the best experiences for commuting. Its pros are, it has a powerful motor for better speeds while traveling, it offers an excellent portable 17.5 ampere hour battery that has up to 55 miles of range, its handy LCD display offers must-have features, and it has a solid and sturdy frame which gives it a longer life. However, it does not have any alternate style options available. The AdMotor Moton M60 is a robust unit that will effortlessly get you where you need to be. It's recommended for anyone looking to improve their commuting experience. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If we helped you out in any way, please hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next videos.